So while playing with your micro bit, you might actually want to use the buttons to control the position of the light. So what you can do is I can have A to move left and B to move right. Now what I'm going to start off with to begin with is my X position this time is going to be 2. And I'm going to plot the LED on the screen. So if I go to LED, we're going to plot that on the screen and we're going to use the variable X position. Now I'm going to run that and you can see now that I now have my LED on screen. What I can say is if I go to my input, I can say if the A button is pressed, I can change. So let's go to the variable change our X position by minus one. Now what that will do is decrease the value of that, but then I can plot the X position. Now the first thing that I may want to do is unplot the original position. So if I go to variables and go down to LEDs, I'm going to want to unplot the original position. Now I will explain this again in a moment. What's happening is when I start my game, it's going to clear the screen, it's going to set X position to 2, which is the middle of the screen, and it's going to plot this light on the screen. Now, if I want to move left, I can press A. What this will do is unplot the original position. So that will disappear. It will change the position of X, which was originally 2, and it will subtract 1. So now the value of that will be 1. Then it will plot the position of that light again on the screen. So watch what happens now when I run it. It starts the same, but if I press A, it moves left. Now, I can duplicate this code quite easily for B. And I can change that to 1. Let's run that. So there's A. And there's B. Simple way of getting a light to move around the screen just by using the value of X position. Now, as an extension, you could try playing around with creating a variable called Y position, and you could see if when A and B is pressed, that it moves down the screen. See if you can get that working.